Today I'm sitting across one of your favorite Broadway stars. She's a two-time Tony winner, an eight-time Broadway.com Audience Choice Award winner. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Eight times. <laughs> <laughs> and the recent star of TV's Bunheads. Now she's back singing her heart out at the Cafe Carlisle. Please welcome, you already saw her, Miss Sutton Foster. Yay, hi. 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 You, this is your Third show, people. This, you're, the, you're the third. Only three. Only, only three. one. It's, it's, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll get to two hands. <laughs> okay. But yeah, you're the first three timer on here. Wow. Thank you. And it's you were an the honor. first two timer. So. Wow. You, you're always gonna have to be my first every 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 milestone. Okay. So I'm sorry. I'm honored. I, I don't have like a special throne. It's just the same chair. But that's okay. Welcome back. Thank you. Wow, it's so good to have you in New York. Bro, we miss Mrs. Sutton Foster. Aww. Well, it's. Well, it's really nice to be back. It's great to be back at the Carlisle. Yeah. I was back over the summer. I did Violet. I know, I know. Right, I'd say right. little bursts. Yeah, but you know. I try not to stay away too long. Yeah. Well, um, the Carlisle. Now, yes. this is, I saw the show, the new show. Uh, it's sort of, there's some greatest hits moments, some certain greatest hits yep. moments. We, we get through some of the some of the great songs from Broadway shows, yeah. and then there's some new, yeah. some new stuff. I guess you're working on an album. Yes. Um, my longtime collaborator, Michael Rafter, we yeah. met on Millie, and yeah. we've been friends, and we've he, we've done. He's we've just we travel together, and he's my. It's like your work he, husband because you do a lot of concerts. I feel like you're always totally like totally my work husband. Don't you like don't you like always yeah. going to do concerts together? Yeah, and we're always like you're not sitting sick of each at, other. <laughs> no, we love each other. It's <laughs> weird. I was like, we have like such a wonderful collaboration and friendship, and but we travel, you know, all across the country and the world now. Yeah, cause we've we went on a cruise together and. Oh gosh, we went on this crazy cruise to um, Singapore and Thailand, and wow. and we went to Tokyo last year. And so we, we've been traveling. I follow a lot you on together. Instagram. I saw all that. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I try to <laughs> all of my crazy travels, but um, he's awesome. So we're actually working on a brand new album. So we're like we're almost there. We what's great about playing the Carlisle is that you can. I I hope that we can use it as an opportunity to try out new material. Yeah. So you can try it out live and you can go, eh, eh, oh, no, no, that's not good, or uh -huh. this is good, or ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we're very close to what this sort of new album will be. Well, it was all good last night, so I don't know what you're going to possibly take away and do, like, get rid of that, get rid of that. It was all good. Okay. My, my number one Cafe Carlisle question is, I was slightly distracted watching the show last night by the very well-dressed, proper ladies who are looking at the back of your head the whole night. This is the, these I know. ladies, and I wonder what is it like to sing with people behind you? It's an is interesting it, thing, because you're like here, and you're like, oh, yeah, there's someone like all the way behind. Right there, <laughs> which seems odd because you're like, what do you see? You don't see anything except Do you think my... about that lady at all while you're well, singing? And then there's like a dude over there in the corner. And so I try to like, <laughs> my goal is to try to like make eye contact with almost every single person. Right. The scariest ones are the people that are right yeah, there, yeah. That are like smelling feet. my feet. Yeah. <laughs> do your feet smell? Near their fish. You know, they're eating their fish or their dessert and my toes are right there, <laughs> which is odd. But um, that's the weirdest ones. And then, like last night, I looked down and there was a guy. I was singing a song. I looked down and there's like a guy putting on chapstick. <laughs> and he's like, like looking up at me, with putting on chapstick. And I was like, it's all good. Like, whatever freak... you need to do, I'm, I'm up here singing my heart out. I get freaked out by those people, those obsessive chapstick people. <laughs> I don't know. So, like, just put it away. I think I'm a, I might be slightly obsessed. Are you one of those people? Yeah, Are you going to take it out halfway through this interview? and? Grease them up. Maybe. <laughs> if I had it in my pocket, maybe. So um, do you think about those people in the front when you're bathing before the show? Do you think about it? I better scrub I, the feet really good? I do try to stay as clean as possible. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> I did get a nice pedicure. I did think about that because I went, that's, ex I'm literally, they're eye level with yeah. my toes. I was like, well, I kind of make sure everything looks all right. right. I shave my legs. <laughs> and, you know, things that maybe I might not have done. I just made sure that, because, you know, when you're on, when you're in the theater, yeah. there's like a, a divide, and then you also are sort of hidden by clothes or whatever. Of course, yeah. This is a little more exposed. I also wonder about the people. Like, there's always these like Upper East Side people sort of mixed in at the Carlisle, oh, and I'm always yeah. like, who it's are those people? I have no idea. They're rich there people. Rich people. <laughs> but there, were, there weren't a lot of like, um, you know, it was there wasn't a lot of, how do I say this? Besides you, there wasn't a lot of youth. I was the youth. <laughs> That's <laughs> troublesome. <laughs> yes, you were well, the. It's a car lot, <laughs> a fancy schmancy gig. Yeah, yeah. It was a little fancy. It is the fancy, yeah, and I'm living there too. Well, I was going to ask you that, that because I, I know that they. Um, and I have my dog. And, like, I know they give room. And did you get like Elaine Stritch's old place or something? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. The rooms there are nice. I saw it's one of those very rooms. Nice. So do you feel really fancy? Like you get to come back, from, you live in LA, you come back to New York and you like- I'm pretty, living at the Carlisle. Yeah, it's fancy. It's cool, it's kind of neat. A lot of um, 
artists when they do these kinds of shows, they like they like to like mix in like my version of like a crazy top forty song. So I wondered if you were gonna do one of those, what song would it be? Like what song, what crazy God, I've it, actually thought about this. Have you? <laughs> yes, but I didn't want it has it has to be the right thing. Yeah. I don't know what it would be. I know you said um on Twitter that you wanted to sing Baby Got Back at some point, but I don't think that would work at the Carlisle. But why not? Sure, mix it up. You know what? Yeah. Shake those people up. They'd, Enough with the class. I could ballad it up too. <laughs> ballad up, baby, got back. Yeah, I like big butts, <laughs> and I cannot lie. Oh, I could turn into a jazz standard. You other brothers can't deny. If you add that, please tell me so I can <laughs> come back because that that needs to be seen. <laughs> okay, I'll do it for you. I want to talk about L.A., the West Coast. Basically, after anything goes, you kind of like. You, Bunheads was happening. Yep. You packed up your life. Yep. You sold your apartment. Yep. And you moved. I and did. I still have a place now. outside. Well, I still have a place outside the city. I didn't think of it as the apartment that I had here in New York was. I'd been living there for eight years. Yeah. A lot of life stuff had happened there, so right. it was sort of time to close that chapter. Yeah. And I, it, I did. I, par, I bought a house in L.A. I want. I the goal is to hopefully be. Uh, one of those bi coastal, coastal people. Coastal, yeah, that's cool. So I'm actually looking now to get another apartment in the city here. Okay. So I will be a, a bi coastal guy. Tell me about your house. It's awesome. Yeah? Tell me yeah. about your pool. I you said you had a pool last I have a pool. Night. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about the pool. Which is bizarre. <laughs> I know, yeah. And a, and a hot tub. I'm it's jealous. Not like, it's not like the best thing about it's the house is, as soon as I walked in, I went, oh no. Because it's, there's so much light. It's got, it's an A-frame house, so there's a, like a loft nice. upstairs, which is, I use it as an art studio. Um, there's all these windows, and, you know, my bedroom used to be the garage, so there's like, you know, it says white cement blocks and wood beam ceiling, like giant ceilings, nice. and it's just, um, it, it's very different, and I, as soon as I walked in, I went, oh, this is my dream house, this is what, and then, you know, you you're like, oh, I didn't know people could live this way. I thought you had to live in 700 square feet. And, yeah, New York, and, yeah. And sort of brace for the day. And I was like, you know, I'm sitting in my, lounging outside, <laughs> drinking a cocktail. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is life? Like, I can live like this? And um, it's been really nice. I think, sometimes I think of you and I think, I wonder what Sutton's doing. And I think, I bet she's laying by the pool, like crocheting an owl with a cocktail. Right? <laughs> Probably. That's kind of what you're doing. Tell me. At times, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It's it's it, it's just different. Yeah. You know, I've been traveling so much, so I've been I haven't been as home been home as much as I've wanted to, right. but um, it's it's just it's just been a really great year. Yeah. It's just been. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm crocheting owls right now. Yeah, Instagram. I saw that. Yeah. There's a lot of Broadway people in LA. You know, it's so cool. Like so yeah. many Broadway people have have had TV opportunities and movie opportunities yeah. in the last few years. So do you ever see them? Do you ever run into them, like at the Starbucks? Do you ever, do you ever see any of these people? Or well, what's different about L.A. is that it's so spread out. Right, and so you so don't see anyone. Not so much. I mean, yeah. I, I ran into uh, Marissa, Jarrett Jarrett Winoker, Jarrett Winoker at the Lululemon. And we were, like, literally looking for the, we were like, oh, my God. So we <laughs> stood there and, like, caught up. I hadn't seen her in forever. You guys were in Greece together forever know, ago. forever ago. We so, won't show the photo. Oh, my God. <laughs> maybe but, we will. <laughs> maybe we will. <laughs> But we saw, we like caught up and I did, um, I did a concert there at the, in LA and, and some friends came to that. And so it's, you know, occasionally you run into people, but in general it's, it's, you're, it's not like here where you walk down the street and you can't go like five blocks without running into someone right. you know or right. something. There's a little bit of right. your anonymity there, and which is kind of nice too. I feel like you've been sort of like, um. Focusing on yourself a lot, right? In your life, I yeah. feel I, I sort of get that vibe. Yeah. How do you splurge on yourself? Like, what what do you do to just like take care of yourself? Hmm. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I guess for like the last two years, especially every well, since like anything goes, since yeah. that I really sort of was like, okay, and I kind of like, let's let's start, like let's clean slate, let's like start a whole new chapter of my life. Um, I don't know. You know, I th I feel like. I'm trying to think of like splurge action. Um, what do you spend money on? Like if you're gonna just I know, I'm not like a bag whore or a shoe person or, I guess I spend money on my friends. Uh huh, that's which nice. Which is nice, I guess. Travel, like I love, I do love to travel. So I, and I like, uh, I love like spa vacations. Yeah, what are you really cheap about? Ooh, I love coupons. I'm like kind of obsessed with coupons. 
and I love me a discount store. Like I love me a TJ Maxx or yeah. a Home Goods or a Ross. Love it. Did love you, it. Did you buy Obsessed. a lot of stuff at Home Goods for your house? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. What does it say? Like a Home Goods, a Home Good Happy. Oh, home, what's your Home Goods Happy? Is the is the the new commercial? Oh, I don't know that one. Well, what's your Home Goods Happy? I found this really cool balloon dog, <laughs> and it was it was just sitting there on the shelf, and I was like. I went over there, and it's like all made out of glass, and it's blue, and it's a balloon dog, and it's amazing. And I got it for like nine dollars. You're loving it. You're like you're you're going right in with the sun. You sang a song about the sunshine last night. I, you you love it. I am kind of a California girl in a weird way. That sounds yeah. weird to say, but I'm I'm a natural you know natural laid back type of gal. Yeah. So yeah, you know it's kind of nice. The vibe suits me well. But yeah. I do miss New York. Yeah. I really do. And when I came back over the summer when I when I was doing Violet. Yeah. I was like, oh, wow, I really miss it. And it was the first time I felt like, oh, I miss this, I miss this, I miss this. Yeah. So we've talked about Bunheads. Okay. Okay, so Bunheads had a great run. People loved it. Yeah. Great opportunity for you. You were wonderful in it. Uh, the, the Twitterverse sobbed on the I day know. they found out it was gone. I know. Was it, like, heartbreaking, or was it kind of like, that was really great, and, you know, how, how how'd you yeah, process I that? I have so many feelings about it. Ultimately... You boil down to it. Like, I could not have asked for a better experience. I could not have asked for, like, a more perfect 18 shows, 18 episodes of a show yeah. that was, like, tailored to everything that I could do. And to work with Amy Sherman Palladino, I could not be more proud of the show. I was so thrilled with how it was received. Yeah. Uh, do I wish that it ran for eight years? Of course I do. Right. Of course. Um, but I feel if I had to choose being on a show that was so loved by myself and by so many that ran for one season or on a show that ran for eight years that was kind of like, meh, right. I choose what course, I got. Yeah. So I feel so lucky. Right. Um, do I, I, am I heartbroken? Totally. Yeah. You know, I was, we fought for it. You know, there, we had a lot of, ultimately what it came down to was, um, we just weren't the right fit for that network. Right. And it's like, it goes beyond things out of control, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you can have all these critics and people saying, this is such a great show, and you can have all these, you know, things happening and acknowledgements, and, but if it's not the right, it mm -hmm. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And if they can't sell it, and then you're like, oh, oh. So, right. it was, it was, it's okay. That's a chapter, closed, bun yes. heads. So now, like, what, so. So what's next? Yeah, like, well, what is, like, what does Team Sutton think should happen now? Like, what do you, I know you, you're you doing a, you're in Psych, you did a guest spot yeah. on that show. <laughs> Crazy thing on that, yeah. Is I'm, it funny? You like it? Is it, well, it, is it really silly? Well, it was really cool, because after we wrapped on um, uh, bun heads, I, I, was, I did this crazy, low-budget horror film. Oh, awesome. <laughs> You know, because it's. I was like, oh, I want to do that. That James Roday, who is the star of Psych, wrote uh -huh. and directed. Oh, okay. And uh, I don't know when it'll be released or anything, but it's a black comedy horror movie about cannibalism. Awesome. Yeah, did right? Get, did you get killed in it? No. Okay. So Maybe. Wait. Maybe. I we'll shouldn't see. say anything, but anyway. So <laughs> I did that. So I, I met James, and I met like a bunch of these. It was an awesome experience. We shot for 18 days. It was crazy. Cool. It was really fun. A lot of blood. Every day, blood. <laughs> like covered in blood, so I was like, "What is happening?" I think I Instagrammed some pictures. Oh, of me that's what you were doing. That's what I, I was, was doing. terrified for you. I didn't know. I thought maybe yeah. you were a Manson girl or something. I, I didn't know yeah, what was happening. Yeah, that's what that was. That's what that was. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I be, I became friends with James Roday, and then he had asked, he asked me to come on Psych as a, okay. his as friends. So I did that, and now um, you know I'm doing a lot of concerts to the end of the year. I have a lot of like irons in the fire. Um, for several projects that are percolating, and so we will see. Yeah. I, uh, for me, I just want it to be something that's exciting and uh, a character that would excite me, and some things are very exciting, so we'll see, hopefully So soon. maybe TV, maybe stage, maybe film, maybe, we yeah. don't know. We don't know. Are there any like um, TV shows you're obsessed with that you would love to like insert yourself into? Slightly obsessed with Scandal. Okay. Do you have any ideas of what you could play? <laughs> have you I thought of a know. role? I'm I don't know. I thought about that. I know, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, Shonda. But I was thinking about, uh, yeah, I'm like slightly obsessed with it. And Carrie Washington, I'm like obsessed with. Yeah. 
Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of open to anything. Yeah. We'll see. I feel very, um, I guess I'm anxious because I'd like to know what the next thing will be so I can go, oh, okay. Yeah. And sort of, but I have so much going on like life-wise that uh, maybe it's okay to have a little bit of openness. Like, so the con it, concert stuff is really great and it's good. Everything seems good. That's a good opportunity for me to mention that you're wearing a new piece of jewelry. <laughs> on a certain finger I, on yeah. your left hand. I am, yeah. You're engaged. I am engaged. She's engaged. Congratulations. Yay, thank you very much. Uh, who is this dude? Is, uh, he, is he good? Am he's a good. He's a good, wonderful man. You would approve. Okay, yeah. great. He's wonderful. Well, we con met in Los Angeles, and he's awesome. He's nice. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Miss Foster. Thank you. Thank um, you. So you got that to worry about, too. I do. You have life stuff. I got life stuff. Everything will... Everything always um, figures that them, themselves out. So themselves out. Everything always <laughs> figures themselves out, but uh, it does. So I'm, I'm, um, I'm, I'm good. I was thinking about your Broadway career, which has been awesome. It's very easy to look at your career and to go, God, what a charmed like Broadway career she's had. Were there any like heartbreaks or roles that got away. It's so interesting because you think, well, if that had happened, then right, it's all it's all a puzzle. It's such a puzzle because if I had done that, then I would. Is there anything have you were dying to do that you didn't do? Um, trying to think if there was anything that I got super upset about. Um, oh, I don't even know. You don't know if you want to say. I don't know if I want to say. <laughs> I think that's it. All yeah. right, that's fair. But I will say that, that yes, there has definitely been tears shed over roles that I didn't get. Yeah. Recently. Recently. Yeah. Where you're like, <sighs> that would have been so awesome. You know, you're like, boo. But it's okay. Yes, I've had an amazingly, I feel so blessed and so yeah. lucky. But throughout all of that was a lot of challenges and struggles and yeah. You know, my goodness. You yeah. know, I have I have people come up and they're like, I, I want to be just like you. And I'm like, oh, Lord, okay. <laughs> I was like, well, it's, there's a lot, you know. I, I, let me give you like 10 pieces of advice of things not to do. But yeah. it's, um, I feel very, very lucky. Do you have any advice? I always say kindness, kindness. Be kind. And to be kind, to be kind. And I feel like that's something that, that and to be, you know, respectful and, and don't be an asshole and like, yeah. you know, really like listen and mm. and um i think if i had to give myself advice if i had to go back to my younger self i think i would have told myself to be quiet hmm. to like <laughs> to like just shut up because <laughs> i think i was so blah, 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 you know kind uh -huh. of like which I, I i think i would have said just calm down be quiet and listen huh. I think that's what I would have told myself to do. Because I think I got, I just rattled on yeah. a little too much uh -huh. as a young and... I was thinking about little Sutton and little Hunter Foster, your brother, Hunter Foster, who we love. And I was thinking about if YouTube had been around when you were children, would you two have been like putting up videos of like, there would have been an amazing archive <laughs> of Foster it home movies. It would have been ridiculous. <laughs> I would have been obsessed. And it's a, it's a, because I have all those, I have them all. I mean, they're just on giant VHS tapes. You do have tapes. a lot of videos? Oh, yeah. When are I we going to share those? Some when are we going to do like. Stuff. Can we make like a. I want to do like a special, like a Broadway.com special of. Oh, who, I could provide you with. So really? Much just like a pile stuff. of tapes? Oh, yeah. I've got so much. I want to do this. We, I, used to make, I used to make music videos with my friends, and, and, uh, and we, my parents taped every single show we did growing up. Right. So I have every. The I've world everything. needs these videos. The world needs this. The world needs all Do of they? this. Yeah, they Do absolutely they? absolutely need this. Okay. Yes. All right. You know they're making a movie of Drowsy Chaperone. I know. That's kind of cool, huh? I know. Do you want to play Janet? Yes. Would you? Would you <laughs> of do it? I would. Yeah? That'd be fun. Are you kidding? That'd be amazing. I'd have to start stretching. Let's call that guy. Okay. <laughs> Jeffrey Rush. Jeffrey Rush. Rush. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, you know what's so cool is that I met him when he was doing, what was the show he was doing with? Um, King. Enter the King? Enter the, Exit the King? Exit the King. That's what it was. Sorry. The king, the king. <laughs> and I met him, and he's like, oh my gosh, all I do is listen to the Drowsy Chaperone. He's like, I'm obsessed wow. with it. Wow. And I'm like, really? Like, why? <laughs> so random. And then he played Man in Chair yeah. in Australia yeah. or something. Yeah, Melbourne. And then now he's like obsessed with the show, so yeah. he wants to do it on, for the big screen. That'd which be I fun. think is actually awesome. That's a cool I idea. actually think it could be a fantastic movie. Yeah. Such a special show. Yeah. 
So maybe uh, I want that to happen. Okay. I don't know. Well, I'll, if you if you have time, I want to play If Then for in honor of Adina Menzel's new musical. Let's play If Then. Okay. If that thoroughly modern Millie moment hadn't happened, right? You're out of town. Right. You're in the ensemble. Right. You were not playing Millie. Right. And you had this opportunity to suddenly become Millie. Right. And then all this happened. Right. right? If that hadn't happened, then what? Like, what? Do you ever think about like? Obviously, a very talented girl. Maybe another role like that would have come along. But you know, you look at there aren't there are only so many Broadway roles, right? I mean, those opportunities yeah. are priceless. Yeah. Now I know you've said that you would maybe be a bank teller if you were not a Broadway. I don't know where that came from. I liked counting money. <laughs> oh, I is that what it is? I like the idea of like being able to hang out in a window and cars coming up and being able to like. I wanted to be the bank teller at the window and uh, have the remember the tubes. Yeah, the tubes the are awesome. I love those tubes. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to shoot the tubes back and forth. That's what I wanted forth. to do. Yeah. That's really what it was. So yeah. if. If Millie had not happened, then maybe you'd be shooting tubes down a drive. I mean, would you ever think about your life if this this Broadway thing hadn't happened, or is it just pointless to think that way? I don't know. Like, I wonder because I think like I probably would have, I might have still stayed in the business, right? And maybe I would have just made a career as a gypsy mm, and right. as an understudy, like because that's what right. I was doing. I want. I wonder. I don't know. Yeah. Because that was like a freak. Like, what were they thinking? Right. You, really? Yeah, I mean, what were they in my thinking? mind, I was like, what? They were thinking she'd be good. <laughs> That's what they were thinking. But I, I mean, I'm so grateful. But it, like, my whole career changed in a phone call. Yeah. And everything went. Whoa! Wait. Yeah. The whole, you know, pie opened up. Yeah. Um, I wonder what else I would be. I You'd don't probably know. be making those owl. You'd be making those owls. I'm still wouldn't making you? those freaking owls. I know. The arts and crafts is like a big thing for you, huh? I is love it like it. a great out? It's a great outlet. Great for outlet. You? Yeah. It's like, I'm. I don't know if I'm OCD or, I don't know what it is, but I, I have all this energy, mm -hmm. and I and and instead of going insane, <laughs> or like, doing, I don't know, crazy things, I sort of channel it into, art and stuff. Right. So, right. And then I can go. Oh look. I had all this crazy energy, and look, I have made something. Uh -huh. So I like to do that. I spent a lot of your show last night thinking about all these great roles I want you to play <gasps> okay. over time. For some reason, I was obsessed with Mama Rose. That's I, one of my I, dream roles. I could picture you, like, you know, a few years down, yeah. but but I could I think that that is one of your dream roles. I think that's Top, that's, number one. That's going to happen. What Are there any others? What's number two, three, four, five, and six? And seven? Let's make a list. I want to know. Like, what, what do you think about? That's a great one. I think about, let's see, uh... Charity, Sweet Charity, that was uh, good. Baker's that's a good Wife. One. Uh, that's a good one. Those are sort of my three. Uh huh. Um, I'd like to do something sim sim. That's what I liked about being in Violet because it was like a yeah. more sim. It was very like p like simple and pure, and there wasn't a lot of like yeah. Right, you know, yeah, it was yeah. just like poof. yeah. Um, I'd like something else. I'd like something like that. Okay, so you what you want work on that. Work on something. Work on what? A just anything. A simple Come on. Yeah. concert version of Sweet Charity. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I don't know. What do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't I'll know. do whatever you want me okay, to do. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're at the Carlisle through September 28th. Yep. Limited run. You gotta get over there. Save up your money. It's worth it. It's great Thanks. to sort of live in live in your voice. Thank you. Because Broadway misses it. Soon. Come on, soon. Can we get you on Broadway soon? Yes, absolutely. You think it's gonna happen soon? Some of those things brewing yes. might be Broadway? Yes. Okay. I said that confidently. Yes. If not, you have that amazing pool I to do. hang out with. And we can hang out there. Hang we out. should do the next interview from the pool. Don't don't tempt me. See, you've already, <laughs> you just said you're going to hand over all your home videos, which I want. And now you're saying we can do the next show. Show people number four will be by the pool. You guys, you doing that? <laughs> okay, yeah, wait. We're going to go to California for the next one. Okay. <laughs> Sounds Thank good to you me. so much, Sutton Foster. Thank you, Paul. It's so Wonder. great to see you. So nice Every, to see you too. Everyone, check her out at Cafe Carlisle, and then in that next Broadway thing, and Whatever it'll show be. people number four by the pool. Okay. So good to see you. So good to see you too. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.